Now that's a job we can be proud of. Hitler's famed Africa Corps, driven into the sea. The Pentagon appreciates what I, we did here. Let's touch and go for a while, General. So there wasn't much fun at the beginning. Agreed. I wonder about that von Richter. He's clever. I'm surprised that anyone could hold out for so long, facing those odds. Ridiculous. Just another fanatic with a uniform full of unwarranted medals. We'll be stepping on their necks all the way to Berlin. I do not like the taste of defeat. Outnumbered and lacking petrol. We did well to last so long. I see no shame in an honorable and organized retreat. We will get them next time, sir. There won't be a next time in Africa. But, sir, none of their generals can stand against you. A victory here would be a waste of men and vehicles. We need them for the real fight in Europe. But, besides, one of them, Sheridan, almost had us at Sidi Bouzid. Fortunately, I always keep a few tricks up my sleeve. They loved you in Sicily. I know, and I'll do it again here. I hope so. The Senate is worried. Public opinion is getting quite vocal about our losses in Italy. It's the Germans and their bloody defensive lines. We break through one, they pull back to the next. Damn, I hate this campaign. That's why I suggested your name. I thought it was time for a new approach. I'm touched by your confidence. Which is well placed. Your invasion plan is brilliant. Let's hope the Pentagon sees it that way. I'm tired of being second-guessed by Washington. I'm a man of action, not a politician. Don't worry, Charles. I'll support you as far as you can go. Look, another great plan from Weatherby. I mean, he's so scared of being overshadowed by me that all he gives me is these little secondary missions. You know, ever since we landed in Sicily, all I've been is some glorified crossing guard. You really think he has it in for you? After all, he did make you a full colonel. So what, he gets the medal and the glory, and I get the blood and the mud? No, it's obvious he's sidelining me. Don't you think the success of the mission should be your only worry? Oh, yeah, sure. So he enters Rome like an emperor, while walking on our backs. Well, is that so surprising? After all, it was his plan, and it was approved by Washington and London. And it's got to work. Look. Intelligence indicates that our bridgehead behind the Volturno line has forced the Jerrys to pull back to the Barbara line. Their Italian allies are finished. I know that, and I know that we're going to be acting as bait doing recon in the north. A calculated risk. And don't forget, Weatherby's task force will land behind them and drop down to trap the divisions there. I don't like the smell of it. An awful lot can go wrong, and I am a great believer in Murphy's Law. The HQ is set up, sir. We can deploy field bases now. Colonel, we found a supply depot. Straight ahead. Let's take it. If we set up supply depots at existing supply dumps, we'll be self-sufficient in resources. Build a barracks and send some reconnaissance north. Building deployment completed. 
Excellent. Round up some troops, and I'll get the coordinates to recon. We need recon units. They'll allow us to spot the enemy even when they're hiding in the woods. The zone is this forest. We need to know what's in there. A recon unit's line of sight is blocked by buildings and woods. Don't let the enemy take advantage. Recon says we have enemy infantry holding the forest. Well done, Colonel. Now, what's this? Recon says those are Italian units. It can't be, sir. Italy surrendered. Tell them that when you meet them. Sheridan, we need infantry to take care of them. Recruitment has started, sir. Well done. These platoons should be enough to eliminate them. Sheridan, you need to destroy those units before they transmit your position. Good job, Colonel. But we have to stay alert. Their support units won't just sit and watch. Sir, we have armored units closing from the east. Our units in the forest can ambush them. If they get to our headquarters, it's all over. Your infantry carries bazookas. They can take out enemy armor if they can get close enough. That's settled, but still, something isn't right. Let's have a chat with the prisoners. Information from the prisoners shows that we are indeed facing Italian troops. I thought the Italians were finished. Well, the regular army, yes. But these are fascist militia, armed by the Germans, and there are more coming. According to Weatherby's brilliant plan, we're facing only Germans. Yes, and the Germans are meant to be dug in behind the Barbara line. But we're getting a lot of radio traffic. This stinks. You get a bad feeling. Okay, let's prepare for an Italian attack. Campbell, yes. you try to find out what they're doing. I'll let Weatherby know his wonderful plan has to be cancelled right away. Kowalski, give me Weatherby's ship on the horn. Out of the question. Operation Deluge will proceed as planned. Hold the line where you are, whatever the cost. Is that clear? Idiot Sir, more Italian tanks are grouping to the north. What is this bloody mess? Colonel, we must secure Sparanizzi even if it is held by the enemy. Italian recon units may be hiding in the forest. We'd better find them and take care of them. I advise caution here. I doubt that the village is unoccupied. 